Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Tears of the Kingdom. We're here at the stables and there's that uh, shooting star there. Now when I uh, pulled out Sweet Roll just now, the uh, guy at the window asked me if I wanted to equip the towing harness. So yeah, that's how you get that done. Alright, let's go see just how far away that shooting star is. Hmm. It does look to be a fair distance, actually. Oh, man. I wonder if those things can ever land on me. like it's just right up ahead. Sweet roll. Come on. You're almost there, sweet roll. You were at like 80% when I took you out just now. Huh. Materials. I think we're going to take a look at these. Oh, okay, sweet roll, you wait there. distance away actually but I should be able to get there easily before it disappears with the morning yeah it's not as far away as I even thought and I didn't think it was all that far Star Fragment. One fuse attack power. Hmm. A mysterious stone fragment that fell from the sky. Its gem-like quality makes it highly valuable. One theory is that it has the power to light up its environment. Okay, so it's a light source. Okay, where did I leave Sweet Roll? And who is that? Is that Bokoblin? Kind of looks like one. Coral? Nope. Too predictable, I guess. That is to say, it would be too predictable. Ah, okay, yeah, it is a book open. And what is that? Huh. Those must be the things that we saw in the uh, trailer. Nope, don't want to do that. That's what I want to do. Okay, it's not telling me anything about it though. apple. A rare, very sweet fruit that seems to have an extra sparkle to it, sometimes found near normal apples. Huh. There's another one right over there. Okay. Oh, 
All right then. Are there any more wheels around here? No. Hmm. Okay. Sweet roll, I need you to get in front of that cart. Okay, with that weird shaped shadow, I was wondering what the sun was hiding behind. Okay, not the best ride, but it should serve for that uh, Koro who wanted help. to do this. Oops. That was the B button. Well, there are a few more wheels here. <clears throat> the other side. A bit big, but it'll serve. At least I can make sure the cork won't bounce out.
on the wheel, you... That's not going to work. It's, it's the wrong size. How about the smaller timbers? There's just something. Sidewall on the right is further in. Okay, that. Uh, there we go. Oh, no way. Okay, that's better. Don't like it, but... You know what? Forget this. Let's just have the flatbed. And I will just attach the Korok's backpack to it. That'll make sure he doesn't fall off. I mean, I didn't want to do that because it seems kind of mean, but... That business isn't working, so let's stop trying to get it to work. Okay, where was the cork again? I think he was like over here somewhere. Okay, I've completely lost track of where he was. I've missed him somewhere. Whoa. Knock loose to the Hylian Shroom. Don't want to litter. Okay, let's go back to the uh, stables and start from there. That's how I was able to find him last time. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, Fox. Didn't actually mean to do that. Or darners. Let's get one. That'll do. Where was he? He was kind of up the hill a bit. As I recall... I 
thought he was kind of up there. Maybe he was, he was further down here. Oh wait, there he is. I want to talk to that other cart driver. Just to get a closer look at the cart. Hmm. This is a pre-made cart, rather than the likes of mine. Oh. Hello there. You look like someone who enjoys purchasing items. Did you know some merchants don't work on rainy days? I call them amateurs. Real pros don't mind a little falling water. You simply go out there, stay dry, and try not to give in to despair. Uh. Eventually, a customer will appear, like you did. Sure, what have you got? Uh. You've come to shop in spite of this weather, so I'll show you some of my special wares. Let's see, Hylian rice. You can get that by cutting down grass. Fresh milk? That one's a bit harder to find. Spicy peppers. Fireproof lizard. This rare lizard can only be found in the Elden region. Its scales have heat resistant properties, so when cooked with monster parts, it produces a fire resistance elixir. Yeah, I don't think I need those right now. Yeah, fresh milk? That one, maybe. You know what? Sure, let's buy a couple just to have them. Ah. All right. Nope. Ah. Okay, we're done. Keep Nimbus's fine goods in mind for all your mercantile needs. All right, Nimbus, thank you very much. Ah, my friend and I got separated. Okay, so way over there. My friend is sending up a smoke signal. Okay, so I better put a pin there so I can find it again on the map. Come on. Is that the correct place? It looks that looks a bit closer. good distance away. Hmm. Alright, let's remove it and try a second time, just to be sure. Yeah, I guess that'll have to do. Alright. Oof. Oh, don't you dare! Do not run off with my cart, sweet roll. Just because I'm carrying someone like that, you coward. Get over to the road. <laughs> Stuff to pick up. Blue Nightshade. A plant that grows in quieter areas of Hyrule. At night it gives off a soft glow. Cook with it to increase your stealth. You'd think that something with a light that serves as an automatic light source would be... <laughs> Bad for stealth, not good. Oh, what's that over there? Another pine cone, okay. Yep. Okay, they've seen something. Let's get going. Get 
move on before they start shooting at us. Oh, a Shiku dude. What does he have to say? Hmm? Ah, Link! Okado. Oh, I vaguely remember him. I didn't remember his name. I'd heard that you and Princess Zelda had gone missing. I'm thrilled to see you alive and well. But where's Princess Zelda? Don't actually know for sure. What? So Princess Zelda is still missing. Well then, Link, you may want to meet with Lady Impa. Oh, she's still alive. I was wondering about that. Because when, in the last episode, when they were just talking about some generic chief of Kakariko Village, I was wondering, okay, what happened to Impa? Anyway, moving on. She's investigating the geoglyphs that have appeared across the land. A curious name for this strange phenomenon. Lady Impa believes that they're crucial to the search for Princess Zelda. She's traveling in one of those new balloon contraptions and should be at New Serene Stable right now. I'm in a hurry to meet with Lady Impa, but I can't go anywhere nearly as fast as she can in her balloon. Let's see. New Serene Stable is just a little to the northwest of Central Hyrule. Northwest. Isn't that where I just came from? If you'll excuse me, I need to be on my way. Impa and the Geoglyphs. Okay. That's part of the main quest. Somehow I'm not surprised. Okay, this is getting kind of dangerously close to a few monster camps. Not that way, sweet. Roll this way. Not that way, I said. <laughs> oh, you stupid. <sighs> okay. This is not good, actually. <laughs> is there some place I can put this so that it won't go rolling away? What about right here? That should do. And now, sweet roll. See if you can actually not do something like that again. Thank you. This better be your friend here. Come on, get off, get off. There we go. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Two seeds. Bye! I made it, thanks to you. Thanks for bringing my friend. Okay, I'm kind of curious about this enemy camp. What the? Oh, is it that late at night? I did not notice.
Morphos Horn. Traveler's Sword. Okay. An average blade, an average sword used largely by travelers. The blade is decayed, but it can still serve its purpose. Zavos Talon. Zalfos arm. The armor of a Zalfos continues to struggle even to death. It can be used as a weapon, but it's very brittle. Added 22 attack power, so I'm not going to complain. Not a stable platform. I'll forget it then. Uh, these guys are pretty tough, I think. Ah, forget it. I have other things to be doing right now. Actually, I really don't, but forget it anyway. And let's get this silly thing off my back while I'm not using it. There we go. Apple tree, I think. Maybe another golden apple? like it. Alright. So now the question is, where should I go? Oh no, this is a key side wall. Okay. Alright, there were a few keys that attacked me and weren't there. Oh, okay, those are horses. <laughs> For a second I was thinking, what are those? What weapons do I have? Okay. No, oh, those are some decent weapons, considering my overall power level. Now back around the stable. Occasionally, some rocks from those sky islands fell down. I want to see if I can hitch a ride on one back up.
sweet roll, I think you could deserve a rest. Oh. You're a night owl, I see. Register a horse or take one out for a ride. Please uh, board sweet roll for me. Oh. Yes, go Ooh. ahead. Zora's domain. Yeah, you've already you've already told us this one. Okay. Now let's see. Every now and then, one of those big rocks falls right around here. I don't see one at the moment. But. Well, that's new. They have the rooster's crow. They never did that before. Anyway, while I'm waiting for a rock to fall, there's the well here, which has a ladder going down. That's worth investigating, I think. Um, I was trying to get onto the ladder. What's this? Bright cap. A mushroom that grows in caves and contains luminescent enzymes. Cook it into a dish to give a glowing effect to anyone who eats it. So I can make myself into a light source, can I? What are those? Not just, you know, creatures. Do I have something that can destroy this? I believe that will do the trick. A topaz. Oh, that's a nice one. An electric gem. else down here. Frogs. Mine. Mine, mine, mine. Okay, so hot footed frog gives speed boost, tireless frog temporarily increases max stamina. Okay. This rare frog prefers dark and moist places. When cooked with monster parts, the elixir produces will temporarily increase your max stamina. That, what the, what was, where was that from? some kind of special frog that unfortunately I wasn't able to grab hold of. Okay. Hmm, this yellow 
sapling looked special, but apparently it's not. Okay. Now that guy who I spoke to on the bridge was looking at that cave with the funky covering on top. Uh, there's one! Where's it coming down? Okay, I was gonna go check out that cave with the uh, skull motif over the entrance, but now... Just a camp. All right, fair enough. Will it get us all the way up? Central Hyrule Sky Archipelago. Um. Well, that sucks. Get to the water! Get to the water! Nope, not gonna make it! Is this before or after I went down the well? Well... Everything's back. Sticky lizard. The suction of its toes allows this lizard to easily cling to walls. It could be an asset for a climber on wet surfaces if it were mixed into an elixir. Okay. That's worth it. like I didn't get the frog. It looks like this was... looks like I s the game saved before I came down here. Otherwise that wouldn't have been question mark, question mark, question mark. At least I didn't lose too much progress. passes this time.
Okay. Net gain. That's what scared me, the uh, startled me the first time. What? Just dissolves in water? That's not very useful. Okay. Alright, using that rock to try to get back up to that uh, sky island didn't work out, to say the least. Let's go check out that cave. That guy on the bridge was looking at that cave and saying something about those bubble frogs being in there, so... Oh, here comes another one. Where is it? Landing. Okay, let's test this out without actually getting on it first. Looks like it didn't get all the way up. Hmm. Well, never mind. Anyway, when I spoke to that guy on the bridge, I think it was that guy right there, in fact. He was looking at that cave over there. Okay, neat effect. Although I have to say, why didn't they die when they get set, got set on fire? Ribone Bridge Cave. All right. Seriously, what are those? Hmm. Well, for one thing, they're not very smart.
Hmm. Okay, let's see about this. Horriblin? Is that what those things are called? Roasted bass spear? <laughs> right, I saw this work on one. Still one left, okay. Come at me, bro. My shield didn't break either. Huh, that's pretty amazing. Rusty Halberd. A sapphire. Okay. Okay, my shield didn't break, but it's um, been pretty badly weakened by that, which is fair. Okay, so where was the ledge that had... There it is. Anything else worth looking at? Yeah, here we go. flower times five okay that's helpful I used up both of the ones I had in, in inventory by fuse attack power by most used by type let's go with type Notice this platform. Let's see here. <laughs> Lots of stuff and another treasure chest. Yep. Soldier spear spear. <laughs> A fused weapon. Okay. 
Let's not take it. And I was about to ask, is this some kind of passage up to the surface? But no. I guess it's just the brace on which they attached the platform. Oh, look at that. Breakable ceiling. Is that how I would get in? Or is there another cave up above that? Horribling Claw. Can I unfuse this? I really want that mushroom. I really want that mushroom. Ah. Oh, there's a lightning storm coming. Do I have any metal items equipped? Doesn't look like it. I should be good to go. Alright, now, is there a breakable um, place over here? Doesn't look like it. At least not one that I can easily find. But there was definitely something in the ceiling of the cave that could be broken open. there. Where were they? There they are. down here. Or at least get out of... Okay, got it. I'm st 
still curious about that hole in the ceiling, though. Can I get up there at all? Is that some kind of passage? I can't really tell from here. I mean, if it's not a passage, then how did that bubble frog get in there? Oh, now there's something up there. It's shining on the platform. All right, well, that worked out pretty well, actually. Met those, met a new monster, those horriblins. And, uh, proved rather capable of taking them down. Used up a couple of bomb flowers in the process, but, eh, that's what they're for. And... Okay, the weather's about to clear up. Well, that's not exactly true. It's still going to be raining, but it's not going to be lightning. Now, there was a well over here, and I am curious if it also has a ladder down to a treasure hole. It does. How come I have to climb down this one the slow way? Um, the ladder doesn't go all the way down. It's either very good or very bad. Oh, <laughs> it looks like I'm not the only one who thought about this. Hmm. Is there something down there that I could... Oh, yeah. Another piece of ladder. I can make it. The ladder. Hi, mister. Stuck here, are you? Oh my gosh, already. I've waited a long time for someone to rescue me. It's my own darn fault I'm here, though. Dropped something down the well and climbed in after it. Uh, I even had a ladder, but yeah, it broke when I tried to climb up. It uh, broke when you tried to climb up. You're pretty lucky that it uh, that you didn't get hurt when you hit the ground. Then on top of that, my best buddy and I go everywhere. My best buddy I go everywhere with should have noticed, but he, but, uh, he didn't. He kept right on going. Uh, Come on, man, really? Sorry, not your fault. Can't tell you how happy I am you came down here. But what now? The ladder's wrecked. Uh, I mean, the broken part is still here, so we could technically fix it if the dang ladder weren't too high to reach. Fell into a well. Anything down there worth uh, dragging up? Doesn't look like it. So. <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Um. Ah. It's just you and me now, stuck down at the bottom of a well. Not the worst place to call home, I guess. Uh. Ah. Huh? Wait, it's fixed? Did you do that? You're incredible. Now let's get out of here already. <laughs> Man, you saved me. I thought I'd be stuck in that well for the rest of my life. Seriously. I really owe you. So here, take this. Okay. Money. I can handle that. Oh. I'm going to catch up with my buddy Jora and head to Foothill Stable so we can apply for the Zonai survey team. Ah. See you around. Thanks again. And hey, don't go falling into any wells, okay? He left his ladder behind. Huh. I was w wondering for a moment, can I use this broken up cart? Maybe fix it or something? But no, apparently not.
Is that the guy I just saved from the well? Ah. Caves are really dangerous. Is finding bubble gems even worth it? <gasps> what? You got your hands on a bubble gem? Two of them now, actually. You had the courage to not only go in a cave, but face down a strange creature? You're a brave one, that's for sure. Ah. If you manage to get your hands on a bubble gem, you should try to find those two oddballs at Woodland Stable in Eldon to the northeast. Those fellows were in a real frenzy to find those gems. I bet you'll find them in the cave near the stable. Aww. I heard them talking about some rare treasure they had. It was like a mystic robe or something like that. <laughs> yeah, it might not be a bad idea to go see them. Okay, yeah, this is the guy I talked to on the bridge. Alright, so we're basically right back where we started. At the beginning of the episode. Nighttime at this stable, basically waiting for the rain to pass. Oh, there's something glowing over there. Yeah, it's about time to end the episode, but let's go check out that glow before we do so. I wonder if I could make a boat with this stuff. It ought to float. Impossible, sure enough. Ah. I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, but I haven't got a single minute to spare right now. But the stable is open, so you can ask at the counter if you need anything. I thought these m maybe were the larger variety of fish, but no, they look like ordinary Hyrule bass. Well, anyway. Okay, it looks like he's made himself a raft. What's he busy saying is impossible? Looks like a steering column. Hmm, what is this? What is that? That whirlwind in the background. Huh. And a fan. A steering column, a fan, and... I mean, I assume this is a steering column. But this thing on the gro but this thing here, I'm not too sure what that is. All right, Ezra apparently doesn't want to talk. Well, that's fine. It's time to end the episode anyway. Well, viewers. Pretty productive, actually. I didn't get um, too much done as far as the main quest in Saving Zelda goes, but hey, I uh, figured out how to m create a makeshift carriage and hook it up to my horse, and I uh, got that Korok to his friends, uh, made a few rather interesting fused weapons, went into that cave, uh, met some Horblins, and got that bubble gem. So, and I saved that guy from the well. And I died once. But, you know, nothing's perfect. So, yeah, I'm pretty satisfied with this. Thanks for watching this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Not sure what's going to happen in the next one, but I hope you'll tune in to find out. Later!